Mercury enters Sagittarius on November 27, 2023, turns retrograde on December 13, enters Scorpio on December 28, resumes direct motion in Scorpio on January 2, re-enters Sagittarius on January 7, and moves to Capricorn on February 1, 2024. This forecast is for Mercury's transit in Sagittarius. Before we delve into the details, it's important to note that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24-degree difference with the tropical zodiac. Sagittarius, as the ninth zodiac sign, it represents many things related with the ninth house like religion, wisdom, higher education, and teachings from mentors, parents. It also represents coaching, universities, professors, and higher wisdom. Mercury, on the other hand, governs communication skills, marketing, intelligence, quick decision-making, and youthfulness. Throughout Mercury's stay in Sagittarius, there is a notable emphasis on gaining and sharing knowledge. This transit fosters a love for learning, whether in an academic setting or through personal exploration. Even those not typically involved in academia might feel drawn to share their insights, potentially taking on a preachy tone. There's also an increased interest in acquiring religious or philosophical education. Travel, especially to various parts of the world, may become particularly enticing during this period. It's essential to recognize that Mercury is a neutral planet, adopting the traits of planets it associates with. Hence, its impact during transits depends on its planetary alignments. In the absence of such connections, it reflects the nature of the ruling planet of the sign it's in. In this case, as Mercury transits Sagittarius, Jupiter's aspect influences it, potentially shaping its effects. Mercury symbolizes communication influenced by surroundings, akin to how our conversations reflect our company. In essence, Mercury's transit triggers curiosity regarding the matters related to the house it traverses, prompting information gathering and sharing. This aligns with Mercury's fundamental nature, to communicate and exchange knowledge. A more precise understanding of the impact of this transit can be gained by examining Mercury's Ashtaka Varga score in Sagittarius. Keep in mind that the effects of this transit will differ from person to person, contingent on Mercury's interaction with the planets in their individual birth charts, or its transit through the zodiac. It's also worth noting that individuals currently experiencing the influence of Mercury Dasha may feel the effects of this transit more intensely. To assess the impact of this transit, it's crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The ascendant sign provides insights into the timing of life events, while the moon sign reveals how you'll emotionally respond to these changes. Additionally, Consider the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. It's important to remember that the effects of this transit will vary for each person. To understand how this transit may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses it transits, let's delve into those specifics. For Aries, when Mercury moves through Sagittarius in the ninth house, it's a time of curiosity and interest in learning new things, especially about religion and philosophy. The ninth house is all about expanding knowledge and seeing the bigger picture, and with Mercury in this house, Aries individuals may feel more curious about exploring deeper topics. This could mean reading books, exploring spiritual teachings, and trying to understand different perspectives, expand their understanding of the world and its diverse belief systems. With Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius, the expansive and benevolent energy of this planet amplifies the desire to gather information about religions and philosophies. This transit stimulates a sense of spiritual quest and a longing for higher education. The aspect of Jupiter adds a positive and optimistic flair to the pursuit of knowledge, making it a potentially enriching and fulfilling period. The ninth house is also associated with gurus, mentors, and long-distance travels. During this time, Aries individuals may feel a strong inclination to seek guidance from spiritual teachers or mentors who can offer insights into the deeper aspects of life. Long-distance travels could play a significant role, providing opportunities to interact with people from different ethnicities and cultures, broadening their worldview. As the ninth house is twelfth away from the tenth house, the influence of Mercury's transit through Sagittarius may impact your relationship with your father and authority figures, leading to a tendency to communicate less with them, including your bosses. There might be a lack of interest in your work and encounters challenges on the professional front. You may confront delays in completing tasks, which may hinder your progress. Instead of succumbing to anxiety in the face of adverse situations, it is advisable to exert effort and work diligently to ensure the timely completion of your professional endeavors. 
This proactive approach will be more beneficial for your overall professional advancement. Mercury's aspect on the third house suggests a keen interest in communication and a desire to share the wisdom acquired in the ninth house. The individual may feel compelled to articulate their newfound knowledge, engaging in conversations that revolve around philosophical and educational matters. This aspect also indicates a focus on improving communication skills, demonstrating a willingness to convey ideas more effectively. Moreover, the aspect of Mercury on the third house extends to a curiosity about enhancing business skills. Overall, this transit for Aries individuals suggests a period of expansive learning, spiritual exploration, and cultural enrichment. It encourages interaction with mentors, gurus, and people from diverse backgrounds. The interest in developing communication and business skills indicates a holistic approach to personal and professional growth during this period. For Taurus, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the 8th house, curiosity and communication turn towards the areas of occult, mysticism, and secret matters. The 8th house is associated with hidden knowledge, transformation, and the mysteries of life and death. With Mercury's influence, there is a heightened curiosity and a desire to uncover the deeper, esoteric aspects of existence. This period prompts Taurus individuals to dig deep, engaging in research and delving into the hidden layers of information that pique their interest. Jupiter's auspicious aspect on Sagittarius enhances the expansive and benevolent qualities of this transit. The influence of Jupiter encourages a positive and optimistic approach to the exploration of occult and mystic subjects. Taurus individuals may find themselves drawn to higher knowledge, seeking to understand the mysteries that go beyond the surface of everyday life. The eighth house is opposite to the second house, which relates to family and personal wealth. During this transit, Taurus individuals may find themselves delving into matters concerning the resources and wealth of their spouse or partner. There could be a need to address shared financial responsibilities within the family unit. The eighth house is notorious for sudden and transformative events. Taurus individuals may experience unexpected changes or events that prompt personal growth and transformation. This could involve letting go of old patterns, hobbies, embracing new perspectives, or even facing situations that lead to a shift in consciousness. You may deal with taxes and share finances more efficiently during this period. Communication with extended family, like in-laws, may increase. Mercury can bring gains from the 8th house transit. Taurus individuals may find that providing service to others becomes a source of wealth during this time. The act of sharing their insights and knowledge which they research this period may lead to financial gains. This transit encourages Taurus individuals to consider how their skills and information can be of service to others, thereby contributing to their prosperity. Furthermore, the aspect of Mercury on the second house indicates a curiosity about wealth and its improvement. Taurus individuals may actively seek information on how to enhance their financial situation possibly through unconventional or hidden means. This could involve exploring investment opportunities or gaining insights into wealth management strategies. The communication about occult matters extends to the family sphere, as indicated by Mercury's influence on the second house. Taurus individuals may find themselves sharing their discoveries and insights about the mysterious and hidden aspects of life with their family members. This period fosters open and meaningful conversations within the family. Overall, this transit for Taurus individuals signifies a deep dive into the occult and hidden realms, driven by curiosity and a thirst for transformative knowledge. The influence of Jupiter adds a positive and expansive energy to this exploration. Practical applications, such as service to others, contribute to financial well-being, and communication about occult matters becomes a shared experience within the family. For Gemini, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the seventh house, the focus turns toward communication within partnerships, relationships, and marriages. The seventh house is associated with one-on-one -on -one connections, and with Mercury's influence, there is a heightened interest in interacting with spouses, partners, or individuals in close relationships. The nature of Sagittarius brings an expansive and explorative quality to these communications, emphasizing topics related to higher education, religion, and philosophy. Jupiter's auspicious aspect on Sagittarius enhances the communicative and optimistic aspects of this transit. Gemini individuals may find themselves inclined to engage in open and meaningful conversations with their partners. The influence of Jupiter adds a positive and benevolent energy to these interactions, fostering a sense of growth and mutual understanding within relationships. The nature of Sagittarius, being a sign associated with exploration and broadening horizons, suggests that the communication within relationships will revolve around a vast range of topics. 
Gemini individuals may be drawn to discussing matters related to higher education, philosophical beliefs, and spiritual pursuits with their partners. This shared intellectual exploration can contribute to the depth and richness of the relationship. There might be an inclination towards business and dealing with other people during this transit. Gemini individuals may find that their communication skills play a crucial role in business interactions and negotiations. The expansive nature of Sagittarius encourages them to explore opportunities that involve collaboration and partnerships, both in personal relationships and professional ventures. Mercury's aspect on the first house indicates that Gemini individuals come to realize more about themselves through their interactions with others during this period. The first house represents the self, and Mercury's influence suggests that self-discovery occurs through the exchange of ideas and perspectives with partners. Engaging in conversations about higher education, religion, and philosophy becomes a means for Gemini individuals to understand and define their own beliefs and values. Nevertheless, if you have in-laws, there is a possibility that your relationship with them may experience strain during this period. You may become less communicative with them. On the brighter side, you may feel at ease with your public image and your interactions with those around you. There are favorable prospects for promotions on the professional front, particularly in the job sector. This is because there is a chance for you to earn a positive reputation in the eyes of your superiors, making the professional environment conducive and friendly. This transit can have good implications for Gemini individuals in terms of their career. Business-related communications, negotiations, or decisions may take precedence during this period. For those considering a business career, it's an opportune time to explore new avenues and partnerships. The key theme during this transit is that the more Gemini individuals interact and communicate with their partners, the more their relationships prosper. The mutual exploration of expansive topics contributes to the growth and evolution of the connection. This period is characterized by a harmonious exchange of ideas that deepens the understanding between partners, fostering a sense of connection and shared intellectual pursuits. For Cancer, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the sixth house, a strategic and calculated approach to communication takes place. The sixth house is associated with obstacles, adversaries, and daily work routines. With Mercury being exalted in Virgo, a sign with similar energy to the sixth house, cancer individuals may find themselves becoming more analytical, perfectionist, and even cunning in their communications. This period encourages a shrewd and strategic mindset, especially in dealing with obstacles, hurdles, and competitors. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius amplifies the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. Cancer individuals may utilize their enhanced communication skills to navigate challenges in a clever and calculated manner. The influence of Jupiter adds a positive and strategic dimension, allowing them to approach conflicts with a broader perspective and a sense of optimism. The sixth house is often associated with professions that involve dealing with disputes, making this a potentially favorable transit for individuals in legal professions, such as lawyers. Cancer individuals may find success by employing their enhanced communication skills to outmaneuver opponents and overcome obstacles in legal matters. Mercury's aspect on the 12th house expands the scope of communication to include interactions with foreign individuals or those in multinational corporations. Cancer individuals may feel a strong inclination to connect with people from different cultures, and this transit could involve business dealings, collaborations, or networking with individuals from foreign lands. The desire for spiritual communication also comes to the forefront during this period, indicating an interest in exploring higher realms of knowledge and connecting with spiritual concepts. Mercury's aspect on the 12th house suggests a meticulous and detail-oriented approach to overcoming challenges. Cancer individuals may find that their ability to communicate effectively plays a key role in resolving issues and achieving success in their endeavors. Nevertheless, as you achieve success in your daily work life and adeptly navigate obstacles, there is a possibility that you may become less talkative with your spouse and partners. It is crucial to avoid neglecting them and instead, focus on maintaining a healthy connection and open communication. On the professional front, your hard work and strategic approach will be recognized, earning you praise. This acknowledgement will facilitate the smooth completion of your professional tasks. Moreover, the desire to learn about spiritual matters and a penchant for travel to foreign lands aligns with the expansive nature of Sagittarius. Cancer individuals may seek opportunities for personal and spiritual growth through interactions with individuals from diverse backgrounds, making this a period of both professional and personal development. Overall, this transit for cancer individuals signifies a period of strategic communication and calculated maneuvering in the face of challenges. The influence of Jupiter adds a positive and optimistic flair to these interactions. 
professional success, especially in legal matters, is highlighted, and the desire for spiritual knowledge and foreign connections contributes to a well-rounded and enriching experience during this period. For Leo, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the fifth house, the focus of communication and curiosity turns towards education, creativity, and self-expression. The fifth house is associated with education, children, and creative pursuits, making this a significant period for Leo individuals to invest time in studies or to explore and develop their creative skills and hobbies. With Mercury's influence, there's a heightened interest in intellectual pursuits and a potential for sudden seriousness regarding personal or children's education. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius enhances the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. Leo individuals may find themselves drawn to educational pursuits that go beyond the ordinary, seeking to broaden their horizons and deepen their understanding of various subjects. This period can be particularly beneficial for those involved in the teaching field, as the combination of Mercury and Jupiter supports effective communication and the imparting of knowledge. In the realm of creativity, Leo individuals may feel a surge of inspiration to develop their artistic talents, engage in hobbies, or explore new forms of self-expression. The expansive and adventurous nature of Sagittarius encourages a bold and enthusiastic approach to creative endeavors, making this a potentially fruitful time for artistic expression. Mercury's aspect on the 11th house expands the focus beyond personal development, indicating a desire to teach and share knowledge for the benefit of others and society at large. Leo individuals may feel a calling to contribute to social welfare and serve humanity through their skills and expertise. Networking and communication within social circles become avenues through which they can fulfill this purpose, connecting with like-minded individuals who share a common goal of making a positive impact. This transit suggests that Leo individuals may actively seek opportunities to teach and mentor others, sharing their knowledge and insights. The desire for social engagement and networking reflects a broader vision of contributing to the collective well-being. This period is not only about personal growth and creativity, but also about leveraging one's skills and education to make a meaningful and positive impact on the community. As you might find yourself more focused on hobbies and activities that bring you joy, this transit could also lead to reduced communication and interaction with your coworkers or those working alongside you. You might experience a decline in interest in your daily work life, particularly in a job setup. It's important to make an effort to maintain healthy communication in the workplace, ensuring that connections with coworkers remain positive and supportive. Overall, for Leo individuals, this transit signifies a dynamic period of education, creativity, and social engagement. The combination of Mercury in the fifth house and Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius supports an expansive and optimistic approach to learning and self-expression. Whether through education, creative pursuits, or teaching endeavors, Leo individuals are likely to find fulfillment in sharing their knowledge and contributing to the betterment of society. For Virgo, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the fourth house, communication and curiosity shift towards the home environment and mother. The fourth house is associated with home, family, and emotions, and with Mercury's influence, there's a heightened desire to connect with family members and engage in meaningful conversations within the domestic sphere. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius adds an expansive and optimistic dimension to these home-based communications. During this transit, Virgo individuals may find themselves inclined to share information and engage in conversations that revolve around home matters. There may be a desire to communicate more openly with the mother or to gather information related to real estate, reflecting a focus on the home and the foundational aspects of life. There may be inclination towards reading books about religion and philosophy if you are into reading. Virgo individuals may find solace and inspiration in exploring spiritual and philosophical concepts, seeking to deepen their understanding of higher truths. This period could also be marked by an interest in higher education, with a focus on advancing knowledge within their field of expertise. It's a favorable time to engage in conversations with maternal figures, fostering strong bonds with your mother. However, exercise caution in your romantic relationships as unexpected conflicts may arise. Strive to maintain a balance between these relationships to ensure harmony. Additionally, you might experience a lack of interest and a sense of lethargy in pursuing hobbies, creative endeavors, and parenting responsibilities if you have kids. Be mindful of this and make an effort to find a balance that nurtures both personal and relational aspects of your life. The fourth house is linked to peace of mind, and with Mercury and Sagittarius, Virgo individuals may seek activities that bring mental calmness and tranquility. They may feel inclined to make practical adjustments in the living space to enhance overall comfort. This could involve organizing, decluttering, 
or making changes that contribute to a more convenient and pleasant home environment. Mercury's aspect on the 10th house of career emphasizes a connection between home and professional life. Virgo individuals may express a desire to teach and share their knowledge within their career fields. This aspect suggests a communicative and educational approach to their work, as well as a potential for mentorship or leadership roles. The desire to learn how to gain career success and prestige through their work becomes a focal point, indicating a strategic and goal-oriented mindset. Overall, for Virgo individuals, this transit signifies a period of nurturing communication within the home, with an emphasis on family ties and domestic matters. The influence of Jupiter adds a positive and expansive energy, making this a potentially harmonious time for family interactions. The combination of home-centered communication and an interest in higher education and spirituality reflects a well-rounded approach to personal and intellectual growth. The connection between career and education suggests a strategic and communicative approach to professional advancement during this period. For Libra, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the third house, curiosity turns towards communication, learning, and travel. The third house is associated with communication, siblings, short trips, skills, and mental pursuits. With Mercury's influence, there is a heightened inclination towards expressing oneself, engaging in conversations, and collecting information. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius amplifies the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. Libra individuals may find themselves particularly talkative and communicative during this period. The desire to gather information and share it with others becomes pronounced and this communicative energy can lead to the generation of business ideas or the exploration of new ventures. The third house is also linked to short trips, indicating a potential interest in travel or movement, possibly for educational or communicative purposes. This transit is conducive to roles involving communication, counseling, teaching, and travel. Libra individuals may feel a natural inclination towards these activities, making it a favorable period for professions such as teaching, counseling, or any role that involves effective communication. The communicative and social nature of this transit is particularly beneficial for those in teaching, preaching, or professorial roles. This is a favorable time for business-related communication, marketing efforts, and utilizing one's skills in negotiations and networking. For Libra individuals, Mercury rules both the 12th and 9th houses, associated with foreign connections. As Mercury transits through the third house, Governing communication and efforts, you may find yourself connecting with people in distant lands, fostering communication that could yield gains from these interactions. However, be cautious, as this transit may inadvertently lead you to overlook your home environment. There might be reduced communication with maternal figures, and you could feel a sense of restlessness and jitteriness due to the influx of new ideas and projects you are eager to pursue. Striking a balance between your endeavors and maintaining peace of mind may become essential during this period. Libra individuals may find themselves engaging in positive interactions with siblings or neighbors during this transit. It's a time for open communication, support, and strengthening bonds with those in close proximity. Mercury's aspect on the ninth house further emphasizes the theme of higher education and a desire for intellectual expansion. Libra individuals may feel a strong urge to teach, preach, or counsel in matters related to higher learning, philosophy, or spirituality. The aspect on the ninth house suggests a quest for knowledge and a willingness to share wisdom with others. This period may inspire a pursuit of self-improvement through higher education and a dedication to the advancement of knowledge. Overall, for Libra individuals, this transit signifies a time of heightened communication, learning, and a potential for travel. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these pursuits. The inclination towards teaching, preaching, or counseling aligns with the communicative and educational nature of the transit. Libra individuals may find fulfillment in sharing knowledge, engaging in meaningful conversations, and exploring opportunities for intellectual growth and expansion during this period. For Scorpio, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the second house, the focus turns towards matters of wealth, resources, and family finances. The second house is associated with finances, possessions, and family. And with Mercury's influence, Scorpio individuals may become intensely curious and calculative about their financial well-being. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius amplifies the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. During this period, Scorpio individuals are likely to engage in a meticulous examination of their financial resources. The heightened awareness of family and financial conditions may lead to a cautious and conservative approach, potentially making the individual more mindful of their spending and savings. 
This transit suggests a period of financial evaluation and a desire to better support one's family through prudent financial decisions. With focus being on improving wealth and resources, there might be conflicts and arguments arise with your spouse and partners. There could be a transformation in your communication style with parents and mentors. However, on the positive side, gains from your career are anticipated, and you put hard work towards achieving desired goals and gains. The second house represents close friends, who are considered an extension of the family. Scorpio individuals may find themselves valuing and connecting with close friends during this transit. Mercury's transit in Sagittarius in the second house with aspect on eighth house indicates a person becomes deeply interested in higher education, particularly in occult and mystical subjects. This suggests that Scorpio individuals may find avenues to increase their wealth through the knowledge and services related to occult practices. There is potential for Scorpios to delve into mystical pursuits and use their acquired knowledge to provide occult services, which may contribute to their financial gains. There will be good communicative relations with in-laws indicated by this aspect. Additionally, Scorpio individuals may engage in conversations about higher ideals and values in life. The influence of Sagittarius and the second house points to a desire to explore and communicate about philosophical and spiritual matters, potentially influencing their perspective on wealth and resources. This period may encourage Scorpio individuals to integrate higher ideals into their financial planning and decision-making. Scorpio individuals may reflect on what they truly value in life, whether it's material wealth, relationships, knowledge, or other intangible assets. This period encourages a deeper understanding of personal values and how they contribute to overall well-being. Overall, for Scorpio individuals, this transit signifies a period of intense focus on wealth, financial resources, and family matters. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these areas. The combination of Mercury and Sagittarius, the second house, and the aspect on the eighth house suggests potential financial gains through occult services and counseling. Positive communicative relations with in-laws and a desire to explore higher ideals contribute to a well-rounded period for Scorpio individuals. For Sagittarius, as Mercury transits through the first house, the focus turns inward, prompting a deep curiosity about oneself, life path, and personal progress. The first house represents the self, and with Mercury's influence, Sagittarius individuals may find themselves engaging in self-reflection and self-education for personal development. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius enhances the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. This period encourages Sagittarius individuals to explore and educate themselves on topics aligned with their interests. The pursuit of knowledge becomes a means for self-improvement, and there's a natural inclination to collect information that contributes to personal growth and understanding. Sagittarius individuals may feel a sense of connection to their roots and may engage in reflections on their life journey. It's a period to consider life goals, aspirations, and the overall direction in which they want to move forward. This transit provides Sagittarius individuals with an opportunity for fresh starts and initiating new ventures. With Mercury in the first house, Sagittarius individuals may feel compelled to communicate their insights and knowledge to others. This communicative energy aligns with the expansive nature of Sagittarius making them natural sharers of higher learning and philosophical perspectives. This transit is good for Sagittarius individuals who are teachers, professors, or preachers, using communication as a tool for spreading wisdom and knowledge. During the transit of Mercury through the first house, there's a possibility of being separated from your family. This transit may lead to reduced communication or a more abrupt manner, potentially resulting in conflicts due to rudeness. Familial conversations might not hold much interest during this time. The aspect of Mercury on the seventh house suggests a specific emphasis on interactions with your spouse and partners, with discussions revolving around higher philosophy, religion, shared values, money, and resources. Engaging in meaningful conversations with your partner about spiritual matters and personal growth may bring fulfillment. However, be cautious as disagreements with coworkers and those working with or for you may arise. Additionally, there could be a shift in how you communicate with your in-laws. In career front, this transit suggests a natural inclination towards roles that involve higher learning and philosophy. Sagittarius individuals may be drawn to careers as teachers, professors, or preachers, where they can share their knowledge and insights with others. The desire to interact with others in a meaningful and educational way is a key theme during this period. Overall, for Sagittarius individuals, this transit signifies a time of self-reflection, personal development, and the pursuit of higher knowledge. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these endeavors. 
The communicative and educational focus of Mercury in the first house suggests a natural inclination towards teaching and spreading wisdom. Interactions with the spouse are likely to center around higher philosophy and shared values, contributing to a period of intellectual and spiritual growth for Sagittarius individuals. For Capricorn, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the 12th house, curiosity turns towards spirituality, foreign lands, and higher learning. The 12th house is traditionally associated with seclusion, spirituality, and foreign travel. With Mercury's influence, Capricorn individuals may feel a heightened interest in collecting spiritual information, engaging in contemplative practices, or even go on a journey to a spiritual pilgrimage. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius amplifies the expansive and optimistic qualities of this transit. This period holds the potential for foreign travel, offering Capricorn individuals an opportunity to explore and connect with different cultures and spiritual traditions. The communicative and curious nature of Mercury in Sagittarius suggests that these travels may involve interactions with foreign people and the pursuit of higher learning and philosophy. Capricorn individuals may find themselves drawn to spirituality, seeking to expand their understanding of higher truths and philosophical concepts, reflecting a quest for knowledge that goes beyond the material realm. The aspect of Mercury on the sixth house suggests a connection between spirituality, higher education, and daily work. Capricorn individuals may feel inclined to counsel others based on their spiritual views and higher education. This transit supports a communicative daily work environment, where the exchange of ideas and spiritual insights becomes a part of their professional interactions. This period might make you less communicative when it comes to discussing yourself. You may experience a lack of interest in your aspirations, hobbies, and creative pursuits. This transit could potentially lead to arguments with your romantic partners and children, as they may be inclined to pick fights with you. There might also be a shift in how you communicate with your spouse and partners. Additionally, you may feel a sense of obligation to engage in communication with individuals from distant lands and different ethnicities. The 12th house is traditionally associated with hospitals, and Mercury's transit could bring attention to health matters that require a period of healing or rest. Capricorn individuals might pay attention to their well-being and seek any necessary medical advice during this time. The love for traveling to foreign lands aligns with the expansive energy of Sagittarius, suggesting that Capricorn individuals may find inspiration and growth through their experiences in different cultural settings. The aspect on the sixth house further indicates a potential for sharing these experiences in a counseling or mentorship role within the professional sphere. Overall, for Capricorn individuals, this transit signifies a time of spiritual exploration, foreign travel, and a deepening interest in higher learning and philosophy. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these pursuits. The communicative and curious nature of Mercury in the 12th house suggests a period of self-discovery through spiritual practices and interactions with foreign cultures. The connection between spirituality and the professional sphere, as indicated by the aspect on the 6th house, adds a practical and communicative dimension to this period for Capricorn individuals. For Aquarius, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the 11th house, the communication and curiosity shift towards interactions within social circles, networking, and communication with friends and elder siblings. The 11th house is associated with friendships, groups, and aspirations. With Mercury's influence, Aquarius individuals may find themselves engaging in more casual and communicative interactions within their professional and social networks. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius adds an expansive and optimistic quality to these social connections. During this period, Aquarius individuals may prioritize communication with friends, colleagues, and elder siblings. The atmosphere becomes more relaxed and conversational, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared ideas within their network circles. The communicative energy of Mercury in Sagittarius encourages the exchange of thoughts and information on a more casual level. The influence of Mercury in the 11th house suggests a calculated approach to earnings and income. Aquarius individuals may assess their financial standing in comparison to their colleagues and peers. This period prompts consideration of whether they are earning in line with their skills and contributions within their professional circles. The 11th house is also associated with large groups and societal causes. Aquarius individuals may find themselves drawn to roles as teachers or preachers within large groups, particularly those related to religion or philosophy. The desire to utilize their higher education to serve higher purposes aligns with the expansive and visionary energy of Sagittarius. Your curiosity about social circles and friends may divert your attention from your health and well-being. It's important to refocus and prioritize the care of your body. With Saturn transiting in your first house, 
you've been putting in a lot of hard work in various aspects of life. However, it's crucial to allocate some time for your own well-being. You may find comfort and peace of mind in the company of your close friends. You may experience arguments at home or with your mother. There will also be a notable shift in how you communicate in your workplace. Your spouse and partners are likely to provide support, and you can expect benefits from these relationships during this period. Mercury's aspect on the fifth house indicates an inclination towards education and teaching. Aquarius individuals may express a desire to share their knowledge and insights, potentially engaging in educational activities or mentorship roles. This aspect adds a creative and intellectual dimension to their interactions within social circles, reflecting a keen interest in learning and teaching. Overall, for Aquarius individuals, this transit signifies a time of increased communication within social circles, with a focus on friends, colleagues, and elder siblings. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these connections. The casual and communicative atmosphere fosters a sense of camaraderie within professional and social networks. The calculated approach to earnings and the desire to serve higher purposes through education and teaching are key themes during this period. For Pisces, as Mercury transits through Sagittarius in the 10th house, the focus turns towards professional and serious communications. The 10th house is traditionally associated with career, reputation, and authority figures. With Mercury's influence, Pisces individuals may find themselves engaging in important and strategic conversations, perhaps with government agencies, law authorities, their boss, or even their father. Jupiter's aspect on Sagittarius adds an expansive and optimistic quality to these professional interactions. This period prompts Pisces individuals to delve into serious and professional communications, possibly involving discussions about government procedures or legal systems. There may be a curiosity about understanding and navigating the intricacies of official matters. Communication with the boss regarding career progression or appraisals is highlighted, making this a potentially significant time for career-related discussions. The 10th house is associated with authority, and with Mercury in Sagittarius, this is a good transit for Pisces individuals working in roles that involve teaching, preaching, or guiding others, especially if they are associated with government institutions or hold positions of authority. With the aspect of Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth, there is potential for enhanced fame and reputation. Pisces individuals may receive positive attention in their professional field, and their accomplishments could be acknowledged by a broader audience. The 10th house represents the father, and Mercury's transit may bring about more communication or interactions with the father figure. During this transit, you might find a diminished interest in your social circles, friends, and elder brother, leading to reduced communication with them. You may derive a sense of comfort when spending time with your family. However, there might be arguments with your younger siblings. Expect a transformation or change in how you communicate with your romantic partners and children. Professionally, positive outcomes are likely, with gains and benefits from your workplace, along with support from coworkers and other staff members. You may treat communication within your spousal relationships and partnerships as your responsibility, indicating the need for careful and considerate interaction during this period. The aspect of Mercury on the fourth house suggests a desire to serve at the homeland through teaching and preaching. Pisces individuals may look for opportunities to contribute to their community or home environment by sharing knowledge and insights related to higher learning. The focus on discussions of higher learning within the home reflects a dedication to intellectual pursuits and a desire to foster an environment of learning and growth. Overall, for Pisces individuals, this transit signifies a time of professional and serious communications, particularly with government agencies, law authorities, and authority figures in the workplace. The influence of Jupiter adds an optimistic and expansive energy to these interactions. The transit is favorable for individuals in teaching, preaching, or authoritative roles, especially if associated with government institutions. The desire to serve the homeland through higher learning and intellectual discussions at home reflects a commitment to both professional and personal growth during this period. As we wrap up this transit episode, remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. If you'd like more personalized predictions for your specific zodiac sign or have any questions about your astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future.
Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.